Welcome to video number five in the Trimlight Select series, Troubleshooting. In this video, we are going to address some common issues that may arise with your Trimlight system. If you are having difficulty with your system, the following steps we are going to discuss should resolve any issues you may be having. The most important aspect is making sure all users are following all the correct steps to control their Trimlight system. More often than not, we find that issues tend to arise from user error rather than a glitch or malfunction in the Trimlight system. Before we begin, I want to clarify that video number five is for customers that are currently using the blue light Trimlight signal to connect to their system. If you are, continue watching this video. If you originally had your Trimlight system paired to your home network on the green light, Please stop watching this video and go watch video number six on troubleshooting trim light when paired to your home network. Okay. So the first and most important step is to go into your device's Wi-Fi networks, find the trim light signal, and connect to that signal. If you do not see the trim light signal on your list of Wi-Fi networks, locate the white trim light controller, usually housed inside an enclosure in your garage, and confirm you have a blue light on the controller. If you see no light or a green light, Quick press the STA AP button on the controller until the blue light appears. If by chance you cannot get the blue light to appear, simply unplug power to your controller for one minute and plug it back in. This is a soft reset and will resolve most issues with your trim light system. Once you get the blue light to appear, the controller is now emitting a trim light signal and you will be able to connect to that signal on your device. Once connected, you can open the Trimlight app and Trimlight should appear on the main screen with the toggle switch. If Trimlight does not appear, do not press the Pair New Device button. This is only used when you want to pair Trimlight to your home network, which is shown in video number four. What you will do is hard close your app and open it again. If trim light still does not appear, make sure your phone is not set to auto join to your home network as it may be doing that, which means it is not staying connected to the trim light signal. Also make sure your VPN is not on in your phone as that will prevent you from connecting as well. You can also swipe down and trim light will refresh and often appear. If you have taken all of these steps and still cannot get trim light to appear on the app, you are going to perform a hard reset. Keep in mind, performing a hard reset will erase all custom patterns and timers you have created. Hold down the gray minus button for eight to 10 seconds until you see a quick red flash up by the blue area as shown here. Once you see the flash, then unplug the controller for one minute and plug it back in. This will complete the process. A hard reset restores the controller back to factory default settings, will clear all error codes, and should resolve any issue you are having with your trim light system. If a hard reset fails, you can reach out to your local trim light dealer for further assistance. Once you are connected and you have the app turned on to manual mode, you will notice three settings towards the bottom of the page. The parameters for these settings should have already been set up for you during installation of Trimlight, so there should never be a need for you to change these settings. However, to confirm, the correct settings are as follows. RGB order should be set to RGB. IC order should be set to UCS 1903. And total pixels should be set to the number of lights on the longest run of your home. For example, if you have a two-story home and the lower roof line has 120 lights and the upper roof line has 80 lights, 
you want the total pixel count to be 120. When in doubt, you can input the total number of lights on your home and the system will function correctly. It just may affect certain patterns of lights and animations. Once you have confirmed these settings are correct, you can press enter and go into the app. At this point, everything should be functioning correctly. If you notice the lights are not responding as you make changes within the app, then you have most likely lost connection to the trim light signal. Signal strength will vary from home to home based on many factors we cannot control, such as obstacles between where you are in the controller, what type of device you are using, and possible interference from other devices. To avoid poor connectivity, always pay attention to your signal strength when connected to trim light and stay within a strong network area when programming your lights. If you have determined you have a strong trim light signal and the lights are still not responding, the system may be frozen and a simple soft reset should resolve the issue. Again, you would just unplug the controller for one minute and plug it back in. With a soft reset, all of your light pattern settings and timing settings will still be saved in the system. If a soft reset does not resolve the issue, your next step would be to do a hard reset, which we discussed earlier. Again, keep in mind, performing a hard reset will erase all custom patterns and timers you have created. In rare cases, your system may still have malfunctions after you have performed all the troubleshooting processes we discussed. If this occurs, reach out to your local dealer, explain to them you have went through all troubleshooting steps and that your system is still not functioning correctly, and they will work with you to confirm the equipment is malfunctioning and replace your trim light controller when necessary. Thanks for watching the Trim Light Troubleshooting Tutorial.